Source fan! Andy and Niall Ashkar are douchebags. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly, these two guys are douchebags. And they've been charged with attempted grand larceny, felony, criminal possession, and conspiracy. Oh, they're douchebags. Yeah, why you ask? Well, kids, pop right down there on your carpet samples and pay attention because it's story time. <laughs> Back in 2006, the brothers were kicking in their family's convenience store in Syracuse, New York, because that's what you do when you work in your family's convenience store. When a man walked in with a winning scratch-off lotto ticket. That ticket was worth five million dollars. The guy currently known as John Doe. Oh God, John Doe. So many John Doe. Feel like you're cursing your kid if you give him the name John Doe. But John Doe, who brought it in, was apparently confused as to how much the ticket was worth because there were too many zeros or something. It sounds weird, but I totally understand it. If a ticket revealed five million dollars after I scratched it off. I'd drop my lucky buffalo nickel and refuse to believe the moment. It would be straight up unbelievable. You oh, yeah. would not believe the number in yeah. your hand. The Crafty Brothers picked up on the confusion and offered to pay the man $4,000 so he wouldn't have to make a deal with the taxes and the hoopla and the whatnot. He agreed, took the cool floor ground, and went on his merry John Doe way. Fast forward six years later and the brothers never cashed in the ticket because they were waiting till the last possible minute to claim the prize with the hope that Maybe the dude forgot or something. Ashkar's excuse? Oh, I wanted to make uh, sure that my girlfriend loved me for me, not my money. I wanted to, you know, make sure the purity of our bond was pure. Woof. Right. The brothers even asked for a lesser amount so they wouldn't have to go through the whole public announcement thing, and the skeptical lottery people are like, mm, nope. Boom! Huge detailed press release. Extra, extra. Brothers win five million off a scratch ticket. That's six years old. Hmm, that they bought in their own store. Ha! Huh, kinda weird. Yeah. So here's the good news. Officials now know the identity of John Doe, who is still a John Doe to us, but not to them because they know the identity of the John Doe. And he's a hardworking father too that's gonna be all kinds of richer. So that's cool. Yeah. Probably a quality human being. Maybe. We don't know if there's bodies in the basement. If there are, he's gonna have the money to properly get rid of them now. It's a win-win for everybody, except for the dead people in his basement. And the brothers, well, they're looking at 15 and 25 years respectively. In prison town. Oh, I guess you're gonna test that fiance's love now. In prison town. I can't think of any non-rape jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Prison town. Prison town. So guys, you found a bag with $65,000 in it and a guy's name attached to it. Would you give it back to him or would you keep it and spend it? What would you do? Let everybody know in the comment space down below and after you're done doing that, let us know that you like our video by clicking the like button. Let us know that you love our channel by subscribing to it and let us know that you want to watch more of our video content by clicking this here annotation that I make and go up and down right now. Isn't that fun? I'm like a wizard. And you can also go to sourcefed.com if you want to check out all of our other news coverage. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Lee Newton. I'd keep it. What are you kidding? A paper bag with just a name on it? Bird! Mine!